Hello guys, welcome to another vid. In this one, we're going to be having a look at some LED conversions. We're going to be having a look at some LED conversions. Um, I've had a lot of messages from people over the years about lighting in my various vans that I've done. Most of the vans I had, or at least when I started, the norm was to have these fluorescent strip lights. There isn't many of these available these days. Most of them are LED, uh, especially if you get them on Amazon or eBay or somewhere like that. If you've bought an older camper, they've got the lighting in there and you probably want to change it for the LED ones because uh, they'll use significantly less power. In this video, I'm going to show you how I converted the old strip lights to um, LED ones very similar to this. Uh, this is an older video that I put up a quite a few years ago. But, um, I thought as it was still relevant I'd uh, re-upload it again and show you now. If you're wanting to keep your camper as original as possible without changing it or you don't want to take these or a similar light away because it's going to leave a mark or something like that um, and you want to convert them then uh, that's what we're going to do in this vid so um, let's jump in and uh, watch the video hello guys so this is the um, video on how to convert a single or double strip lights to LEDs this is your strip light. I've taken the tubes out already here. Um, this one, uh, if you know already, if you've been watching my vids, you'll see I've already converted this single one, but the process is still the same. The cables will run in through here. Um, all the guts have been taken out. I've removed the circuit board. Um, Obviously I've taken the tubes out and the connectors at both ends. That was the uh, PCB in there. That's been taken out as you can see. Obviously I've just left the switch in because we're going to be reusing that. Wires were down through here. That's all been taken out as well. Basically all we're left with is the base to um, and our diffuser. And uh, this is the LEDs I've purchased, which came from eBay. Uh, this was a pack of five. They're approximately 10 inches long. Uh, I think these were 12 inches, but not that it matters because they'll just be a little bit extra. These came off eBay. Like I said, make sure you get the 12 volt ones. These are all different voltages. We take the first strip. They do change, I think. From, uh, these these were slightly different from the ones I bought last time, but make sure you get the 12 volt because there are, like I say, there are different ones. Uh, but make sure the 12 volt. do with this one then is uh, we're going to take the backing off because these have M3 sticky tape on the back of them so uh, you can stick them wherever you like we'll peel that off like that and uh, proceed to stick it in where the uh, the tube once went Right, once you've done that, don't. what we need to do now is thread the wires through the hole at the end. This is, um, this is obviously where the tube used to connect. Um, obviously there's no bits and pieces in behind because I've taken it all out. Make sure it's stuck down well. Firm. And, uh, 
make your wires through to get another one and we'll proceed to do the same with this one stick it down well and uh, put your wire out through the end right now we've done that what we're going to do now is strip the ends of the cables that we've just put through which um, obviously attached to our LED strip and uh, we'll clean the ends up strip them off and uh, tin them up ready to um, connect them together what I've actually done here is I've got two separate switches from where I did it before so there'll be one switch that do one was does one and then the other switch will do the other two um, but if you just want if you've only got the one switch then you can just connect however many strips you're installing into the one switch so obviously they'll all come on together but what we'll do is we'll take our negatives first um, obviously because if you know obviously if you've only got one switch then it doesn't matter you're only going to end up with uh, all the negatives together and all the positives together uh, and this one obviously I've got two switches so but we'll um, proceed to tin up the negatives now we'll do all the positives I'm going to put all them together this is going to be connected to the uh, switch side on your uh, on your switch right that's that done those two there I'm presuming connected to the switch like so There is actually, an, as you know, there's another switch, so the power for that switch will uh, we'll need a power supply. So um, we'll connect that one to the other side. That's the feed wire to the other switch. And that'll go to the other side of the switch, which will be the, the feed wire. This is all our negatives, so you can put all them together. Uh, get a bit of heat shrink slide that on to hold them all together like that and heat that on in a minute this is just our power lead which is going to supply the power to our light so we just tin and solder that on there again this is our positive side now this one we we'll tin this one up and then uh, this one will go on to the feed side of the switch obviously this is another there's another switch so we're gonna have to um, put this on to that cable as well because we've got two switches twist that on there and solder that up tin the connector on the uh switch as well don't forget to slide on your bit of heat shrink you want a bit of heat shrink on the uh, on your connectors that go on to your switch so that they don't short out get touched together I like say so you want some heat shrink on that one as well so you slide the heat once you've soldered them on to your switch uh, slide the heat shrink down over and what we 
I'll do is heat it on and um, that'll be all nice and done there. Lovely. Right. You can see that's done like that. All those cables now can be tucked down into the area where the uh, PCB or the old circuit board used to be. Tidy it up with a cable tie or something. Or wrap it up with a piece of tape or something like that. Put another negative. Put the extended wire on the negative. That's that one done. I mean as to whether you want to put a connector on the end of these power lead, this power lead so you can just plug it straight in or uh, whether you're going to solder it or fix it on or whatever it's entirely up to you but, um, but there we have it there's our positive and negative for our light so you tidy that up and uh, away we go Click the uh, diffuser on, and there's your light. That, that switch there will do those two, and that switch there does the uh, one in the centre. So it depends uh, how you've wired it up. But hope that was useful to somebody, and I'll see you in the next vid. Cheers, guys.